So today is gonna to be a super quick, super simple video. I've just got a new string and I thought it'd be useful for you guys to see how I would prepare the string, make it ready so that it's you know ready to shoot and everything's set up. So this is not about choosing the knocking point height or not about you know tuning the brace height or anything like that. It's purely about getting a string, making sure it's ready to shoot. And I'll show you exactly what that entails now. For anyone who's interested, this string is Brownell Fast Flight Plus, and I'd be fascinated to know, let me know in the comments below which string material you shoot. I know a lot of people shoot 8125, 8125G, 8190, maybe there's someone who shoots uh, BCY652, I shoot the Brownell Fast Flight Plus, as I mentioned, I'd be fascinated to know what you shoot, so let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to just tickle that like button for the, for the YouTube algorithm, and that will help more archers see, hopefully, this useful video. Um, so yeah, now let's get to the video. So the first thing, obviously, when you get a new string is to make sure the brace height is correct. So I'll assume you've checked this, the brace height is roughly good. Then obviously the first thing after that is to shoot the string in and then make sure the number of twists is good. The second step is to burnish the string, and then the third step is to, I call it circularizing the string. I don't, I don't know if that's a word or not, um, but I call it circularizing the string. So I'll assume that you've checked the brace height, you've then shot it in, which normally would be maybe two, three, four, maybe even 500 arrows, depending. So I'll assume you've shot it in, and now it's about getting the string ready. So what you would then do after you've shot it in is make sure that the brace height has settled, make sure the number of twists in the string are what you want. So for me personally, I normally go for somewhere between 20 to 30 twists. So I'll make sure that's correct. And then after that, that's where you start by burnishing it. So as you can see here in this clip burnishing, you just get a tiny piece of leather. And what you do here is simply get the leather and you rub up and down the string with the leather. With the leather. And all this is doing basically is gently heating the string so that it's basically melting any of the, the wax that's used on the string and basically helping put it into a nice circular cable. I can't stress this enough, you don't want to heat the string up uh, you know, really hot here. You don't want to get the, the leather and quickly rub it up and down super hard and super fast because that's going to make it too hot and it can make some of the small fibres of the string kind of fray and it will, re will reduce the life of your string as well. Um, so you don't want to do that, just very gently, just to get it a little bit warm, and you'll, you'll know, you can see, as I showed here in the clip, you can see when it's being done correctly. So that's the burnishing part. Then finally, the last stage is to circularize the string. And all of this is just, like I said, a kind of made up word, but um, all this is, is basically you get a piece of serving material, you wrap it around the string, as shown here, and then you simply make a kind of a, a shoelace knot with that, and then you simply just move that up and down the string whilst maintaining some tension. So again, you're not pulling really hard here because if you pull really hard up and down, you'll remove a lot of the wax on the string which is gonna help it be waterproof. But you also do wanna remove a tiny bit of excess and you want to make sure that you're basically making the string circular into one nice cable. So what this does is removes any lumps, straightens out the, the twisting, so the twisting is uniform through the string and makes it into this beautiful long cable. And now, once you've done this all up and down the string, all the way from the center serving, all the way to the loops, then that's pretty much it. So this is just a super, super simple, super quick video on the kind of the stages of doing that. So obviously, as I said, shoot your string in, check the twists, and then obviously check the brace height as well. Then you would burnish the string and then you would circularize it. And this just makes sure that your string is ready. And then after that, obviously, it's ready to shoot. It's shot in and it's gonna be you know, water resistant in the rain as well because you've made it nice and circular. It's got a nice layer of waterproofing from the, uh, from the wax that's on the string and it's all good. So I hope that really quick video has been useful. There's one last thing that you can do, which I do actually recommend doing as well, and that's you can check the tune when you've got a new string. So obviously you know where your tune should be from your previous string. It's always a good idea to just shoot a couple of air shafts, shoot a few fletched arrows, and check is it actually the same? Because obviously if your string is super, super old and you've not checked it, not checked the center serving, the thickness might be slightly different, maybe you know the, the exact feel of the string, the speed of the string is different. So it's always good just to double check your tune and then maybe 
not even adjust it at the start. You can maybe just check your tune, notice it's slightly different, then wait and see if it changes over time. See if it takes a week or two weeks, see if it changes. Uh, and this might be, give you a good idea as well as to when you know your string is actually fully shot in. So it's never a bad idea to check the bare shaft tune as well. But anyway, I hope you found that super quick video useful. As always, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on social media and I'll put the links to those in the description. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.